You, um, you need a coffee table. <laughs> yeah, that'd really pull the room together. <laughs> Steven, I, I was gonna, I was gonna clean your kitchen for you, but, um, frankly, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's got everything under control. Kitty, I'll be in the car. Red. Steven, why don't you go to your room and gather some clothes and I'll do a load of wash for you at our house. Cool. <laughs> well, we can't let him live like this. Oh, Kitty, he'll be fine. I mean, compared to Korea, this place is Shangri-La wrapped in happy fun candy. <laughs> You know I'd like to help him. We don't have the money. Well, I suppose we could call social services. Yeah, see, now that's sensible. Yeah, they'll know what to do. That's... You know, after all, they take thousands of cases every year. <laughs> so many, in fact, that they have to house them in gymnasiums. Kitty! With no heat. <laughs> I am tired of being Santa Claus. <laughs> Steven, you get your together and you get your ass in the damn car. We're going. Now, damn it. Move it. Okay. Or just the sweetest man alive. <laughs> you know, Red really yelled at me, Foreman. Yeah, um, get used to that. This blows, man. When I was living at home, I didn't have to answer anybody. I made my own rules. You screwed me, Foreman. <laughs> I told you this is none of your business. Steven, Eric, here's your cocoa. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Foreman. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You're lucky I don't kick your ass. Are you gonna eat your cookies? 